I still can't figure out why Ivy Crane invited the four of us to dinner. Look, she said she enjoyed our company at the police benefit and wants to get to know us better. I don't know. I think there's more to it than that. I almost forgot my tomato soup cake. Are you bringing that to the Cranes? Well, yeah, don't you think I should? As much as I love it, I, I just don't think the Cranes are the sort of people who appreciate tomato soup cake. You know, I thought about that, but for all the Crane money, I think Ivy's very down to earth. Sam, would you? When I mentioned it to Ivy, she was all for me bringing it. People can't eat rich, fancy foods all the time. You'll see. It'll be a big hit. Somehow, I don't think anything's going to be a big hit tonight. Come on, Sam. Don't be a party pooper. It'll be fun. You know, I think it's time for us to shove off. I agree with Sam. The sooner we leave here, the sooner we can leave there. <sighs> Isn't anyone looking forward to tonight? Eve? Maybe I'm just not in the mood. You know, Eve's wondering how Simone's going to make out cooking her first dinner tonight. <laughs> I wish I could say that Kay could help out, but I'm afraid our eldest daughter doesn't even know how to boil water. <laughs> and Miguel is the chosen victim who has to eat whatever our domestically challenged daughters have cooked. <laughs> I'm afraid so. Well, you know, still it's nice of them to try to get Miguel's mind off of charity. Yeah, and Eve's hoping that Simone will get her mind off that boy that she met at the police benefit. You remember that boy, Sam? <laughs> how yeah, can I forget? Yeah. I told you she liked him. <laughs> You just better stay away from him. I'm sorry. It's, Eve, I didn't mean anything. I'm sorry, Sam. I, I didn't mean to snap at you. Was that the same boy that you pointed out to me, the one you thought was a street kid? Yeah. Sweetheart, what is it about this boy that you don't like? It's just something about him. But with any luck, he's already left Harmony. <laughs> Shall we go? I don't know why I'm so nervous. Ivy wouldn't have invited us if she didn't already like us. Please, please come on in. Oh, Pilar, you don't have to stand up for Melody with us. Thanks, Pilar. Sure. Right. You may leave your jackets there if you like. Oh, Excuse me. If you'll all follow me, please, to the living room. I'll take you, Stacey. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Please, make yourselves comfortable. Mrs. Crane told me to tell you that she'd be down in a moment. <laughs> Champagne? Oh, no, no, thank you. Come on, you guys. This is a party. At least try to have fun. Sam? Well, only if TC and Eve join us. Okay, just one. Thanks, Pilar. You're welcome. Thanks, Pilar. Thank you, Pilar. Sure. Pilar, this is just a little something I told Ivy I'd bring for dessert. Oh, how thoughtful, Grace. Here, I'll set it right over there. Thank you. Definitely not my taste. But you can tell this place is worth a small fortune. I saw this fabric in an architecture magazine in my dentist's office. Would you believe $200 a yard? Incredible. Oh, and look at that clock on the mantel. I guarantee you they imported that from France. I wouldn't be at all surprised. You know, I know a little something about antiques, and I can tell you every single piece in here is museum quality. You know, I can't blame Ivy for wanting to show them off. Is that what you think tonight is all about, Grace? Well, it must be. I mean, you all seem to think that Ivy has some deep, dark, ulterior motive for inviting us here. And as I told Eve earlier, I don't think that she's after you or Sam. <coughs> Sorry, sweetheart, it was just a joke. <clears throat> Wonderful. You're all here. Welcome to my home. Oh, well, thank you for inviting us, Ivy. It's beautiful, as I knew it would be. You have the best taste. That's sweet of you to say, Grace. <laughs> well, I mean it. I mean, everything is just so perfect. <laughs> I hope we get to meet the rest of your family tonight. Ah, oh, unfortunately, all the children are away at school. Except for Ethan. He's at the ballet. Your house is truly lovely, Ivy. Thank you, Eve. You couldn't have bought all these things locally. Oh, in harmony, goodness, no. I mean, some of the things are our family heirlooms, and my decorator helped quite a bit with the others, you know, picking things up in New York and Paris, here and there. Uh, that's what I thought. Ivy, I have to tell you, I love your perfume. Thank you. It's jasmine. Oh. That's too bad. I would have bought some myself, but that is the one scent that Sam hates. He won't even let me have jasmine flowers in the house. Oh, really? Oh, that's very nice. Oh, do you have some? Oh, Flora, those are beautiful. Thank you. 
Um. Well, I spoke to Cook, and dinner should be ready shortly. Oh, oh I almost forgot that's the tomato soup cake I brought you. <gasps> oh, I thought you were teasing. Oh, uh, maybe I, I shouldn't have brought it. Oh, no, 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 Grace. No, I'm, I'm glad you did. I've just, I've never heard of it. Uh, well, that is what makes it special. But it's, it's delicious and a snap to make. Really? Mm. Well, you must give me the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope it goes with your menu tonight. Huh. Well, let's see. We're having venison with red currant sauce, roasted new potatoes with sea salt, and let um, me guess white asparagus. Yes. Incredible. <laughs> I mean, those are all of Sam's favorite foods. <laughs> the only thing you left out is a chocolate cake. Oh, well. As I wasn't counting on your tomato soup cake, I took the liberty of having Cook prepare another dessert. Chocolate cake. <laughs> that is incredible. Did you hear that, Sam? Ivy is serving all of your favorite foods tonight. <laughs> I'd better be careful, or you'll be moving into her guest room and I will never see you at home. Mm -hmm. I love you cooking and you way too much for that, Grace. Mm -hmm. uh, Sammy knows he has to say that or I won't make him dinner tomorrow night. <laughs> Well, I'm so pleased that you like what I'm serving, Sam. What a surprise. I wonder where Sam is. I don't know. Maybe he's out on the terrace. I'm gonna go check.